Now, hugely ambitious show. Um, what did you learn? What was surprising for you about the character that you play, Lord Mountbatten? I read a, a book actually taller than I am about him, which of course was all about how marvelous he was throughout his life, which is which is great. There was one line that I read and went, "Okay, I understand this man." You know, in those days you had to dress for dinner, so you had to put the full white tie on and and all the cufflinks and all the fiddly bits and he hated wasting time so he had an elasticated suit so his valet just stood there and he'd come in from playing polo rush into the shower rush out and literally like in the wrong trousers get this buff and go and I just thought okay here's a man who can't sit down he can't sit still he has to he's sort of shark like if he stops he'll die and when you see quite okay maybe he didn't do the best job possible partitioning India and Pakistan, but you know he, he was extraordinary, extraordinary figure. Mm -hmm. And finally, what what is the lasting appeal of the royal family? Because obviously everyone's really keen to see the show and really interested in it. It's a really posh soap opera, isn't it? You know, it's sort of it's sort of anti-shameless, opposite of shameless. And we're, we are we are fascinated with folk living the shameless life as much as we're fascinated with the ones with the tiaras and the and all the posh castles so and i think this is a little bit more than that obviously because um the director's there and the writer's just behind me so uh, but it's it, it's a you know they are a, an extraordinary collection of people ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you